Okay, so there might be a lockdown, so I'm going to studio to get all my stuff right now. Hasn't been announced, but I know there will be. Lockdown has been hasn't been announced yet, but I am certain there will be one. So getting everything from Locker. All the cars they're rushing to get their stuff. It's so bad that like just going to the bus station is packed. Oh my god. I am back in studio. Time to get my stuff. Is he here? <laughs> so at this point we were just all waiting for Jacinda, our Prime Minister, to tell us that we were going to lockdown so that we could officially be sad because it's just our most important semester and we can't even be there in real life. Very sad. Very sad. Goodbye. Goodbye for a week. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's actually kind of real because it might. Yeah. No, 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 no. Don't say this is the last time. What else has happened? Goodbye, JB. Goodbye. <laughs> Do that again. <laughs> One, two, three. Hi, thank you for coming. Bye, see you tomorrow. And I was right, there is a lockdown. This is day one of lockdown. Day one of lockdown. I guess we're gonna be here for a while. The Delta variant was found in October, so I will be here for a hot minute. Really oh my god, whatever it is. Like one of the eyes went into the trees, and I was so sick getting it. Oh, oh shit! Damn. Oh, Look, they're so busy. Yes. Hello, and welcome back to today's vlog. Today is Sunday, the night before Monday. I have a mid crit presentation tomorrow, but I am not ready. So tonight we are making models out of ice cream sticks and boohoo glue. I have Regan with me. She is also doing work, but she's going to sleep soon because she did her work during the daytime like a normal person. <laughs> and with me as a crazy person is also Louise because we played Minecraft the whole day. Priorities. One second. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Did you ever do like Oh this is a different flavor This is kimchi well, ramen it It's called kimchi ramen It's not the normal mm. chili ramen mm. Okay Interesting flavor, I like it Okay, a little update on the model. So, so far, I've been playing around with this like kind of parametric vibe of weaving. So I've been making these little models. So 
all of them like weave into this space and I think they're really cool and they all like join up and then we create this really long line I'm kind of really struggling with how my form will function but so far I am just making the models and I will give it I'll give it sense afterwards this is one of those moments where like it's really just hard to make sense because there's so many ideas coming out at once that I'm just making forms and hopefully through this process I will understand how I want the space to function. This happens a lot in architecture. Even though I'm third year it still happens a lot. It's just not easy. Like even though you're creative, it's just you can't not everything makes sense all the time. And you just have to go with it. It is what it is. We shall see how it goes tomorrow. Well, not tomorrow, in a few hours, just design. So let's just see how it goes in a few hours. vlog to start. Ooh, it's trying to go. Don't skip my ads, thank you. <laughs> okay, so I'm struggling with design, so to help me, I looked up how to say numbers in Maori because these numbers are my building size. So my building is 1,987 square meters tall, so to say that in Tereo is Kutahi Ma Mano iwa rau waru. Welcome back to day one million of level four lockdown. I shall attempt to trim my hair. I just detangled it. Guys. Morning, Mr. Cat. I got corned beef, some rice, my eggs, and my dumplings. Let's, let's go and cure this villager, shall we? Don't we just catch it. Go. And saying, hey, we got this new artist, you know, do you have any buyers? And so on and so forth. Um, but yeah, it's really opened my eyes to how. Hello, welcome back. Little update. So, lockdown has been extended for another two weeks. And I really miss my food. Look, I just want to eat. <sighs> but at least I cleaned my bed, I showered, and I feel clean. Like everything is arranged now. <laughs> Right now I'm in the converse call. I muted myself, but yeah. Love converse. Converse so cool. It's just really hard being locked up because it's my final semester of uni. And obviously final semester is where you want like to make the best work. And it just I can't even make my best work. Well I can make my best work, but it's just so much harder now. The 
because of lockdown because I don't have access to everything that I do want to have access to like the workshop just very different trying to make the best of the situation but it's just very hard I'm just really sad I really hope people wear masks and just can COVID go away please please go away <sighs> doom and gloom you're so majestic Mr. Cat Hello, so today we are um, trimming my hair. I just brushed it out. That's what it looks like. Really crazy, but and really poopy. Oh my god. <laughs> Anna Ross, is that you? But yeah, I'm gonna have to trim off all the dead ends. It's like my hair is still healthy ish, but the ends tend to get really like I keep getting um, single strand knots, and that takes a long time to detangle. So I'm just gonna chop off all the ends that frizz up together to make my life easier. Might chop off about maybe this much, maybe more. Um, first, I'm gonna partition, gonna section my hair, and then I will begin. Oh my god, I look like Hagrid. Christ. Okay, since lockdown started, like, I think, like, 10 days ago, I took out my piercings, and then I tried to put them on today on this day, and just would not go in, so I had to force these boys, they had to go right in, like, force them in. Hello, it is the next morning, my haircut went all good, hair is looking good. Um, I could not sleep for some reason, so, it's the next morning, I haven't slept yet. I tried sleeping after my haircut last night, but I just, I couldn't sleep. Just something was keeping me up at night. And my skin is horrible. It's just really bad to not sleep. Um, so I decided today I'm going to just stay awake. Hopefully by staying awake I will fix my <laughs> sleep schedule because I'll just be so tired that I'll fall asleep and then reset my sleep schedule. Um, right now I'm just gonna longboard to the gas station and get an energy drink <laughs> and some chips and snacks <laughs> so that I will be fine because I hate, oh, I just hate this. I just hate not being able to sleep. It's actually so annoying because I just want to, I just want a normal schedule. The only bad thing about this lockdown, this is how bad my routine has been. I don't really mind lockdown because I get why we need lockdown because it's COVID, but still, I just like to have a normal sleep schedule. Um, today I'm going to, well, I'm going to stay awake and then I'm going to try and finish working on my portfolio so I can apply for this job at RT Club. It's like a graphic design job that mixes architecture and design seems perfect to me. It's keeping me up at night so maybe I should just apply for it. I don't know. Let's see. The sun's real nice today though. Gas station's right there. Okay, note to self, do not ever longboard down this path ever again. Oh my god, I nearly died. Like, I just went way too fast and then... Oh, I fell off! Okay, I'm, a, I'm not that good at longboarding yet, so... Gotta practice more. Look at the view, though. It's so pretty. It's out in my first time, like, walking outside the house in the last 20 days. 20 days into lockdown, by the way. 20 days. Girl. Jacinda, let us out please. I just want some gongcha. 
there we go. That's my destination. Gas station. Give me some treats. Oh, I just night pay. Okay, I got it. I will survive the day, I hope. Okay, so I managed to get everything. I got my snakes. And now, I shall attempt to do some work. I shall apply for the portfolio. I mean, I'm gonna make my portfolio and apply for the job. Hopefully I get it. And then let's see how long I can survive for. My plan is to stay awake until tonight so that I can just sleep and reset my schedule because I just really want to fix it, please. Okay, so I should probably tell you guys that I uh, I barely ever drink energy drinks. I also don't drink coffee, so like caffeine is not normal in my body. So after I had this V energy drink, V energy drink, like I swear to God, I just oh my God, I had so much energy after this because I just I started jumping around. So bear in mind, I have not slept yet. I have not yet slept, but for some reason, after drinking this V energy drink with lots of caffeine, I went crazy. Like. I was doing my portfolio, but then ended up, I was like, okay, you know, I'm going to learn how to do turns. So I could do some crazy turns. And then I was like, you know, I'm going to learn the Dojo Cat dance choreography for some reason. And just, John, what are you doing? Oh my God. Oh my well, a little update from earlier. So I was just doing my work preparing for, you know, my return to uni. But unfortunately, Vice Chancellor Freshwater just announced that. Like, okay, so this lockdown, I've been waiting to go back to, you know, it's just like, okay, lockdown will be a while, maybe a month, maybe two months, but I'll go back eventually, but no. They just announced, uni just announced that the rest of the semester will be online, so my final semester of my Bachelor of Architecture will be online. So I won't get that satisfying, like, real-life presentation, which I feel like is something that everyone in architecture just really wants right now, because it's... It's our final presentation. We just, everyone wants to see each other's work. It's really sad that none of us will get to see that. Like, I will only maybe be able to see people that post on Instagram, which is very few, and the people in my group, which I'm not even sure if that will happen because maybe it might just be one-on-one, -on -one, but it's just, it's really sad because the biggest part of architecture, it's like the most fulfilling part is that final design presentation. We just see everyone's work and you just, it's just so beautiful because everyone puts in so much effort and work into these final presentations. You walk and you just feel all the hard work. You can see all the hard work. You can tell how much hard work went into this. And it's just really sad that we are not allowed of that. Like I like I don't really like I can't help that COVID is happening, but I just COVID has really changed how my life has been the last while. Like, if, like, when I was in the first year, I was, like, thinking, okay, by third year, I'll be this and that and that and that. And then when second year hit, which was last year, COVID came into the photo, and it just completely changed the whole last year because it wasn't as fulfilling. And then this year, we made it six, seven months without any cases. And I was like, oh, my God, I might actually have a good finale to this year. But... No, COVID reared its ugly head again, and here we are again in lockdown, and it is just disappointing. I mean, I'm looking, f I mean, I mean, with everything that happens, so oh, everything that happens for a reason, like maybe this will help me as a, as a designer, help me in character development. It's just, why do I have to do character development? But yeah, everything happens for a reason. Something good will come from this. I don't know what it is, but something good will come out from it. I'm just holding on to that. So right for now, yeah, we'll update. I'm gonna be in lockdown for a while, and where you're not gonna see much studio vlogs. Also, because even even if it's level four is locked down at home, but even if it's level one or level two, my parents just don't want us to go out. So I will be at home a lot, probably until December. That's sad, but yeah, not going to see much of the friends, but let's go with life to you. Dear 2025 John, if you're looking back at this, you, I hope you're okay, man. I just, I hope you're alive. Just, 
Yeah, this was a hard year for you. This was a hard year for you. And for everyone else. Oh, no, even she is sad. She said, she said, can we all boycott and come here for final cream because I think I'm the best miss you guys. Same, same sis, same. I just want to say to all my Arky fam out there and also like everyone in uni that's experiencing this, we're all in this together, we'll get through it, and feel free to message anytime. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, I will hopefully see you guys soon, I just really hope that we will all meet up again, and enjoy your time for now, take care of yourself.